Ja, jag tror jag det. Så det var det var det är ju då. Nej, det är inte det. Ja, det är ju det. Ja, det And the back here. Okay, I want to make it. <laughs> Obviously, a T03, the different car, uh, you know, different regulations. So, the old, um, well, basically, the old car is different. I think, apart from the the steering wheel. So, um, now the feeling was. Uh, very unique. I was excited to discover these new cars and um, and see how they feel on the track. So obviously the conditions were uh, quite slippery um, in the rain, but uh, still got a a good feel of um, of that car. When you first try a new car, most important is not so much the performance; it's just trying to understand how to maximize. How, like first of all, you got to understand how your car works, which directions of setup you got to take. So. Um, it's a lot about exploring all the possibilities and then once we will get a better idea um, on how the car reacts to all the, the different setup, then we will focus on performance. Well, personally, I want to win another race. Um, we won in 2020, I want to win another one in 2022 and keep the consistency we had last year. So we had a lot of top five, top six, um, almost got top um, fifths in the Constructor Championship. So these, I would say, are the main targets. Yeah. Finished best results last year in the last race, um, which I was really struggling in the first, first half of the season. In terms of confidence, I lost uh, after Imola crash in uh, round two. Um, in the end, managed to bring that back, brings back that confidence even better. Still not 100%. I was not. I was feeling, but um, able to score points for the team. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy and really looking forward to it for this season. I learned last year. Uh, I would say confidence. I was I was not having this topic until last year, um, which I didn't struggle much in the past past years. But yeah, last year I really struggled, and it was really hard to bring it back. Um, the confidence I lost, so definitely confidence will be uh, my main topic. And obviously, the car will be com a completely different, and I think car behavior extra extra gonna be different. So. I think we had to rebuild this confidence, um, but now I know how to um, build it um, lap by lap and race by race, how to do that. So um, just do the same approach as last year, but quicker. This is a completely new regulation. And uh, when I saw our car today, the first time going out, you can see it's a new area which will uh, come into Formula One. And I think it will be very exciting because the car looks really fantastic. And I saw some other cars and also they made a good impression. I just hope that the car is fast enough. The first impressions are very positive. I was excited to see the car today, the first time going out from the garage. I like the colors, I like the branding, the clear lines in there as a clear aerodynamic philosophy behind the car and um, we will see now how competitive the car will be out at the racetrack. Formula 1 is going in the right direction, A with this new regulation, B with the cost cap 
which at the end should help to bring the teams together. And we hope that uh, at least uh, three, four teams are able this year to win races and uh, fighting for the championship. When uh, we have two drivers whom we know quite well, Pierre Gasly, one of the best drivers in Formula One, and Yuki Tsunoda is in his second season. That means he's much more experienced than last year. And the team made also some steps forward. Um, therefore, I expect a successful uh, season this year. No, I think it's fair to say the technical changes for this year are the largest seen in Formula One for an awful long time, certainly as long as I can remember, and it's more than 20 years I've been involved in the business. So yeah, it's a big change for this year. In terms of what the process has been like to develop the car, there's been a lot of challenges. It's a complete new set of regulations. Aerodynamically, there's a large change in aerodynamic philosophy. It's a, a ground effect car now, so the, the way we use the floor is quite different. Um, there's a constant evolution of packaging for the car, so this has been a big focus to give the biggest and best canvas for the aero guys to be able to develop the car. And then there's just a constant optimization of what we've learned with previous cars, taking that step forward. So it's not one thing, but the whole process has been re-evaluating everything and iterating the design over a long period of time. I think it's inevitable that, you know, um, everyone's got to understand their cars and some people will be better placed than others at the start of the year. So it might be that that uh, has an impact on, on the, the field itself. The regulations are targeting moving the field closer together as well. But I think as people learn about their car, we get into the development cycles, it should settle down a bit. But yeah, we, we might see people who have just done their homework better in testing. I think we'll see a very aggressive development plan by teams. Everyone's working within the budget cap, so they have to be mindful of that and make sure they spend their money wisely. But I think we can, accept, we can expect to see a, a very rapid development.